All right. So in this video, we want to talk about um, how to create a measure uh, to get the cells for the same time last year. So this is going to be a measure, and uh, we want this measure to be on um, the internet cells. So click on the internet cells. Uh, it should be on the, the data view, then click on new measure. Remember this time round, we try to So the name of the measure we, we say, we're going to call it prior year cells. So I'm going to change this uh, prior uh, year cells. And uh, for this measure, we are going to use the calculate function. The reason is why we're using the calculate function is because uh, for the calculate function here, we want to get the sum of the total cells. Uh, and then we apply a filter. And the filter, these, this filter is going to be same time last year. So we're going to have uh, total cells because um, total cells is what we're going to calculate. And then uh, that is, remember, if you look at uh, the calculate function, uh, the first argument is an expression, then the next thing is a filter. So we want to uh, apply a filter called same period last year, because this is prior year cells. And then these are prior period uh, last year. Um, it is going to have um, a date function, which is a uh, date uh, order of the date from when date function, not date function, but date column from date order table. So let us have a look at uh, the measure. The measure we are creating is by ESLs. Uh, we are using the calculate uh, function. So the calculate is trying to give us the sum of the total cells. And then we have a filter here that is same period last year. And this is according to uh, the date function on the date order table. So uh, to note uh, that uh, this measure can also work uh, on the same date, same month, same quarter, same year. So we can change this to same uh, if you are dealing with dates or if you have um, the cells uh, arranged in quarterly or um, you have the cells arranged in monthly, then you can have same period last year. And then this is going to be month, it's going to be date, it's going to be quarterly, it's going to be, but this time around, this time around we have uh, same period last year because we're dealing with a year. So when you press OK, then you'll be able to get prior year cells. And we want to create a table just uh, to see our, how we have the cells last year. So on this table, we are going to have um, uh, the year, the English month name, um, the YTD or uh, total cells, so uh, year to date cells. Uh, we also going to have um, physical year to date cells. And then we love uh, prior year cells. We just want to create a comparison. It's not much that you use the table, you can use a graph, you can use um, or whichever chart of your interest. But in this case, I just want to create to create this comparison using a table. So here's our table. Around, um, let, me, let me put the table in fullest mode. 
Um, so this table we have the year, English mom name, the total sales. Let me remove total sales for now. Uh, instead of total sales, we're going to have um, uh, the physical uh, year to date sales, then um, we don't need the physical year to date sales. Let me remove that. Um, so we need uh, year to date sales, and then we include the prior uh, year sales. Remember, prior year sales is the last dimension that we created. So uh, prior uh, year sales. So I'm going to have that. And then you're going to be able to compare, like um, in the year 2007, uh, we were able to make these sales. Previously, um, we were able to make uh, these sales same time last year. And then you can compare some other times you're going to have um, increase, some other times you're going to have a draw because the, the purpose of these function prior to year sales, all the purpose of this measure was just to create comparison between what we sold uh, this year and what we sold same time last year. So if you like the content of this video, consider subscribing to the channel, uh, share and comment.